Hey YouTubers, it's Mark and True Seeker, and I'm in, back in Seoul. I think it was 665, and there was a couple other strange things I just wanted to show you guys and girls, and uh, get your take on it because it's just strange, and it's only getting stranger. I mean, look at some of this stuff here. Granted, they're moving the pixels around, but look what you see in the blocks. They're not really pixels, but I believe they're just, these are blocks that they're making up. The pixels, I think, would be finer, but these are just blocks that they're making up and they're moving around. Like a, It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. And what's great is when we catch between the pixels some very strange structures and You can see carved faces. Alright, let me show you a couple other things. This piece dead on just really caught me as strange. I mean, look at these rocks. Are they rocks? To me, they look like piping. Piping with some type of connector coming up. And then part of this is blurred out right here see where they went, really went to town on this little area. All right, let's move on. See what really is really amazing to me is in the rear area of this picture. Look at these things. These look like gigantic stone blocks, like some type of monuments or structure and you can see it just doesn't match the landscape see when I zoom out zoom into that area. That's pretty cool out there. Huh? Like I said, things are just getting stranger and stranger. Is NASA trying to tell us something? Part of me wants to believe so. But another part of me believes that somebody's got a stranglehold on him that's just... just unbelievable. I mean, if, like I always say, if you got a quarter of a brain, you know something just isn't right with this whole space program. I mean, look at this. This almost looks like a giant bell or container buried. See how it comes around the rim? It's opened, and then you can see it's buried. See this here? This little carved face. You see it? There's the eye, eye, nose, mouth. See this? Some type of carving with something on the back of it. But when they move these pixels and blur everything, you, know, you zoom out, it looks like a normal picture. But then you can see what they're hiding. See what I'm showing you? And this back here looks a little strange. And then this thing here. See how that doesn't really match anything in this area that I've shown you? See, this almost looks like a cross standing up. I 
of the structure in this thing. Let's get a center. See, here's a good example. This is something pretty damn interesting. See how they put this black blur right across it? How could that black blur be there? You see this? There's something here. There's a shadow, right? Here's the bottom of this object. How could this... This is just added. It's added by them. You see the way they just blurred that? They put that black smudge right across it. Unbelievable. And look at this object. I mean, it just looks really strange. To me, it just does not look like a normal rock. I mean, it looks like this area has had some manipulation done to it. And of course, it's cut right off. This is at the end of the photo, so. That whole area just looks very strange. And I love the way you guys find stuff in these pictures. And I, uh, unfortunately, I just can't answer everybody's emails. I appreciate it. All the support. It, it's amazing. You know, all the offers of help. And, listen, that's not what I'm here for. I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. You know. I'm a Christian. You want to say a prayer with me or say a prayer for, you know, everybody around me. Even the people, you know, even enemies. Say a prayer for them. I'm just, thank you so much. That's all I could say is thank you. You guys are the sweetest. I tell you, I'm one of the lucky guys on uh, YouTube. You know, with all your support, sharing, you know, in four months, I get over 600,000 views. I just never, if in three or four years I would have had 600,000 views, I would have been, I would have been happy. I would have been on here, you know, screaming and dancing. So, I don't know, almost uh, like 1,500 subscribers. I just, it's unbelievable to me. It's unreal. You know, at first, you know, a lot of this, I did this just to get it out there on the record. And, uh, you know, I like to email NASA a lot. So I just wanted to, you know, get this stuff out there, send them a link. You know, see if I can get any type of response from these, uh, these cowards. And you get absolutely nothing. I have some amazing finds. Amazing. I mean, stuff that I believe should be on the local news. And I'm sure you feel the same way. But you know what happens to people like us. You're not allowed to stir the boat. You're not allowed to shake the boat. I think that's the same. Or stir the pot, whatever it is. Yeah. And you come over to this little area here. This all looks very strange piece that really caught me is this here it almost looks like some type of steel block or something like a slab a slab of steel or something I don't know like lead it just looks weird you see these black smudges these are fake so 
so it's there they're added in front of these items to cover them up you guys see the front of this rock here even the front of this one is lit see this is all lit there's no way that this could all be black you see see the manipulation that they did on this stuff you see this this they're covering something up here you can see this rock here you can see these uh, carvings that are in it there's three of them in a row right above this see these three one two three carvings and then you can see there's some types there's all types of carvings up here this almost looks like a cat See the two ears coming up, the eyes. Okay. With that bland color on there, you're not. It's it's almost impossible unless you really know what you're looking for. I mean, I got thousands upon thousands of hours of watching, you know, reviewing these pictures. I can't even count. I mean, you're talking thousands. And after a while, it trains your eyes to look for certain things. And granted, yes, they have changed ways of manipulating the pictures to throw us all off, yes. I, they definitely have done that. No ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, I review videos that I did and photos that I did and I go over them and I, I find new stuff. This thing here really caught me as being a little strange. It almost looks like it's got some type of head. But, I mean, that's just cool. It's probably nothing, though. Here, there looks to be a circular object between these two things. This is a pretty cool area here something that white thing here looks like it connects to this item then they blurred this part out see how this looks like a mask the one eye the two eyes the nose they put some blurry in front of it like a golden colored mask and then they blurred this stuff out here this is they black and they add they put this here it makes it look like it's a, a rock it's not this is just covering up an object that's all this, this is this is not a rock this is there's you can see there's an object there it's most likely some type of statue or grave marker that they're actually covering up that's not a rock distance it looks like one but it's not and here's another one of those black smudges another one see if you watch there's certain rocks like see how the front of this rock's lit but this is not you'll see if you pay attention let me come over to this rock here this rock almost looks like there's a bunch of stuff carved into it if it's even a rock this could just be some type of statue that they took and uh, they manipulate it and add that color just fill it in and make it look like a rock because the top of it looks like some type of statue or a head coming out of there if you pay attention you'll see this head what I think it is some type of statue head look at the piece that's coming off it looks like it's got an arm coming out here with some type of chain or string coming down into this object see rocks you can't see through see how this is you could actually see through this to the background it just it doesn't it just none of this is making sense when you really go into these pictures deeply and start analyzing When some of these guys and girls start using some of the tools and they really start bringing some of this hidden stuff out, 
like Amazon, Casey, uh, my buddy Chris over at Mars Anomalies, Olympus Sky, I mean, you know, Will, Mars Unmasked. You know, when these guys start using these tools and they start bringing this, some of this stuff out, I mean, how, how, how do you deny it? I mean, with the straight up anomalies that I show, I'm more of just a straightforward, I'll take the picture and I look for that hardcore anomaly and, anim, you know, some type of life or animal life. You know, a lot of these other guys and girls, they're digging deeper and uh, it's not easy. You know, for anybody to troll on one of their sites and, you know, make fun or, you know, make fun of what we do, I mean, it's just cowardly, number one. And number two, it questions me if you're working for even for NASA.